So, on our Pathfinder Master, we have our world, and when we request a new uh, Pathfinder job, we do a request for our world, which we assign over here. And we have a chunk, but we, as you can see, we have deleted it, so that means it will always return uh, this. Now, we're going to need a dictionary for the string, and we're going to need uh, the chunk. Chunks dictionary. And actually, we don't need this to be initialized, because we can just say chunks... Dictionary equals w dot chunks. Let's make it. Well, we can either do it as a public or let's just say public dictionary string chunk get chunks dictionary. get chunks dictionary and then for for this okay get chunk circular and uh, get chunk this needs to change now so let's copy the code we have from our chunk and we need get chunk get chunk from dictionary, of course. Let's say get chunk circular, get chunk circular, of course, again. Okay, and the chunk to ID, which is, let's find this. Okay, so let's, mm, you know what? Okay, let's copy it over here, although it will be better if we have made this method into another static script, so we can just use this every time. Anyway, get chunk, so... Mm. Get chunk, we don't, I don't think we need this, because we just use the circular one. So, I'm going to copy this first, and then Pathfinder going to paste this in here and then get chunk circular we need to change the name for this get chunk circular paste it exactly like this and get chunk Paste it in here, and this needs to be chunks dictionary. Okay, the word length. Let's see if we actually use this anywhere. We don't, so let's delete this because we use the get chunk circular. Okay, so with this, we now we're going to be able to actually get the proper chunks. Let's clear that. Let it compile and hit play load and okay we move he kinda goes back he goes like that uh, this has to do with the lerp not the the tasks the tasks work completely work as they should so let's see uh, this has to do with us on finish Pathfinder task on finish uh, on finish this will unregister the task this will register yeah so we kind of have let's start deleting this now that we know they are working and this And let's see what else. Path complete. Path complete. Find path. 
Added task. Uh, no, okay, let's keep the added task and uh, let's see what's going to do. Hit play. Hit load. And okay, click somewhere. Yeah, unfinished runs a lot on the Pathfinder task, which. Uh, tells me that yeah on a register task we were never registering the pathfinder task that's why so we cloud okay everything works smoothly Okay, if I click now, well, I can't go anywhere else because the yeah because we can't really do anything. Now, let's say we want when the when the build task happens uh, when we click to actually build or weld this. Okay, we actually want to have a build task not the not just move so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to say maybe let's just add the using as a tasks above so we don't have to write it every time uh, let's see why are you complaining what and all that oh. so uh, pathfinder uh, or build task build new build task we don't have something for the build task yet uh, but I'm going to say unit dot add task or target task is going to be the build one now for the build task of course we're going to need who is building it so let's go and create a constructor and we're going to say block target block unit we already have it so public build task we need to have a unit target unit and we of course need to know the block we want to add it to build it which means unit equals target unit why am you, do you doing this and not just assigning it from the task as the previous one just so that I don't forget to ever write the build task and forget to actually assign the target unit okay the target block is going to be the build block okay another thing we can say we're going to do a timer whatever rate let's say one and on tick we're going to say timer delta if timer is greater than the rate you're building the yeah you are kind of, you're kind of building the the task so timer uh, timer delta greater than timer rate okay we'll see what this does okay you know let's do this now and say Okay. let's take a peek at player interaction so unit and current block 
target task build awesome and then when we want to add a new block we're going to take it like this world and we need a reference to the world let's make sure we have this as a singleton yeah we don't have it as a singleton but uh, we have the player interactions we can get the player from the player interactions so let's do it like that player interactions interactions dot singleton dot world dot add block and target block okay after that we are finished with this task so close it okay now on the move task when we're finishing we're going to say if unit target task is not null then task manager register unit target task okay so there's only one more thing that we need to change in this and you'll see what it is uh, hit lot okay so I'm going to click on one of these it's going to go onto that position and voila he actually builds now one thing that we need to change right now it goes right on to the actual yeah it goes on to the same block that he's building or better yet let's see it a little bit more closely uh, well, let's move it slightly in okay save a lot in hit play load and that's not really zoomed in a lot so let's do it manually okay here's our guy and I'm going to click somewhere and after one second he builds but it builds on the same uh, yeah it builds on the same block that he's actually in and we don't want that uh, so how do we handle this we're going to guess that through all the blocks that you or the task you are doing you're going to be on the block that is uh, yeah on the previous block which means if we go on the unit and if we go on the load path you have your path but let's say this dot path remove add and of course we need to say remove we only want the last one so let's say path dot count or obviously we mean we need the minus one click play and let's test this and okay hit load world let's zoom in a bit because I have to click inside my viewport now we don't get the preview but I'm just going to click over here and you can see that he starts building now till he build he till he starts building we can say uh, he can play an animation over here till it's completely built and stuff like that okay uh, where the animation is going to play is basically going to be on on start of the build task over here you can say play an animation here awesome so uh, I think I wanted to change one thing uh, and I'm just going to make the visualizer 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 and I'm going to actually make this oops something that actually fades uh, like this and I'm going to close the emission because it was a little bit annoying 
Awesome. I'll load the scene and hit play. Now we kind of need one more thing, however. Damn it. Let's open the world. Let's make this to about 30, whatever. I'll load. Hit play. So, as I was saying, yeah, we don't get the visualizer. Oh, yeah, we do get it. Okay, and this is a, an entirely new block, which would, yeah, the, the visualizer kind of has a few issues for whatever reason. Hmm. Yeah, okay, we need to kind of fix that a little bit. Anyway, so the only the other problem we have is that after we first place uh, a block, we can't really place anything else. And of course, the Pathfinder needs work because he takes all uh, all jobs, all, all positions onto... Uh, like it's something that he can actually walk, so he's basically walking through the air to go and build something. Okay, we have a lot of things to finish, to fix. Added tasks. Remove that. So, on the next part, we're going to actually make a unit manager that is going to look for the first idle unit and it's going to assign that onto him instead of you know just having drag and drop the unit so as always i'll see you on the next one don't forget to like and subscribe and of course patreon and all those stuff so we can keep making a lot more of these videos i'll see you next time